Hello and welcome to the briefing for February. As we promised, this month we're going to talk exclusively about the sustainability and transformation plans and I'm going to do that by answering a series of questions from you which have come in so far. So, what is an STP? The sustainability and transformation plans form the new approach to planning health and social care services across England. There are 44 STP footprints in England and AWP is part of two. These are Bristol, North Somerset and South Gloucestershire or BNSSG and Bath and North East Somerset, Swindon and Wiltshire or BSW. The STPs are the route to implementing the NHS five year forward view in each local health and care economy and they are the way in which we're going to close the health and wellbeing gap, the care and quality gap, and the funding and efficiency gap. So why does health and social care need to reform? STPs have been brought in because we have a growing and an ageing population with increasingly complex mental and physical health care conditions. We need also to reduce avoidable illness and to prevent ill health in the first place from childhood onwards. And we need to address the increasing pressure on our services and to make the organisation and the provision of services to people far more efficient and effective. And we need to deliver all of this within the money that is available. Who's involved in the STPs? These are the STP partners in each footprint. What has been happening so far with regard to STPs? Well, the membership of the STPs were defined a year ago, and since then, the partner organisations have been working to, together to establish what the most pressing needs are for their population and their communities. And the partners have been working out how they can collaborate to meet those needs more effectively and efficiently. The emerging plans were submitted to NHS England last autumn and they were published online and you can find the draft BNSSG and BSW plans through the STP page on the AWP website. The partners are now working together to refine their initial plans and to formulate strategies to deliver them. During the coming year, the STPs will seek the input from the public, including NHS staff, local voluntary service organisations, service users, carers and all interested parties from our communities. And that will help us shape the detail of some of the initial proposals. More proposals and plans will be de developed over the next four years. So what specifically do the BSW and BNSSG STPs need to achieve? Well, like everywhere else in the country, we need to develop services that are both responsive to individual needs and relevant to local communities. We need to move our focus more towards prevention of ill health. And we need to move care towards primary and community settings. We need to make sure that mental health is given equal priority with physical health and we need to develop the new models of care which will integrate mental and physical health care services. And of course, last but not least, we need to develop a system that will work in financial balance and will be sustainable by 2020, 2021. So what is the formal role for AWP in the STPs? I have been working to represent mental health into the BNSSG STP and Andrew Dean, Director of Nursing, has been leading on the BSW STP. As a trust, we are championing mental health at STP leadership board level and we are involved in influencing the strategic direction of the STPs. We also have senior clinical representation 
in all of the various work programmes. Separately, AWP is leading the workforce programme for both STPs. So what work programmes make up the STPs? Each STP has three similar core programmes, which you can see on this slide. How are mental health and learning disabilities being considered in BNSSG and BSWSTPs? A specific mental health programme is being developed in each STP to ensure a system-wide implementation of the five-year forward view for mental health. And mental health and well-being is embedded in both STPs in all work programmes and has become a priority for both STPs. And when will the final plans be published? The overarching plans have been published, as I said. Each work programme is now considering its detail. Timescales will vary. What about engagement and consultation? There will be many opportunities to become involved in the different elements of the STPs over the next four years. In AWP we are pulling together our plans to share information with you, to listen to your ideas and to answer your questions wherever we can. We're also reviewing our trust strategy in the context of the STPs and the new strategy will be sense checked with our service user and carer forum before we seek feedback through a staff consultation later in the year. In the meantime, I provide a monthly update on STP developments to the Trust Consultative Group. In addition, each STP has created a social partnership forum to make sure that there is continuing consultation with staff side. So what might be some of our early wins? If the STP partners take a coordinated approach, there are some exciting opportunities ahead. For example, there is a proposal to pool all bookable rooms across the STP organisations on one booking system so that you will find it easier to book a room where and when you need it. There are proposals for coordinated staff wellbeing and development initiatives including joint health and wellbeing for staff and joint training opportunities. There will be a shared system-wide suicide prevention plan. We're likely to see GP practices working together in clusters, each of those clusters being supported by a multidisciplinary team which includes physical health care, mental health care and social care professionals. And we've already begun our multi-agency work to improve the Section 136 pathway so that service users and carers and professionals have a better experience. I know that has been a lot of information and it is changing all the time. We'll do our best to keep you updated. But if you go to our space, there is a presentation which you can use with your teams which gives more information. And keep asking questions because although we may not be able to answer all of them, they are important and they will help us define and highlight what is important to you and we'll feed that through into STP discussions. And finally, don't forget the STP page on our external website. See you next month.